Welcome to V-Ray how-to tutorial series. In this short video, we explore how to render a hardwood floor with V-Ray material. Before we start creating the floor material, let's have a quick look at the scene setup. We use a V-Ray sun and sky to light the scene. We've also added a curve, hue and saturation color corrections to the final image. Finally, we've enabled the auto exposure and out white balance options in the render settings. First, we need to create a V-Ray material. We can do this in the hyper shade. Give it a proper name like floor. Then create a file texture and load an image for the flooring. Select the V-Ray material node and drag and drop the texture to the diffuse color slot in order to link it. Then select the Place 2D texture node and set Repeat UV to 8 to adjust the floor tiling. In the outliner, select the floor. Return to the hyper shade and select the Assign material to selection right click option of the material. Let's see the result in the VFB. Don't forget to select the right camera for the render. It looks good, but we can make it even better by adding some reflection to it. This will make the floor look polished. Create a remap HSV node and link the flooring texture to its color input. We can reuse the same texture for reflections and later for bump by tweaking the output. First, we need to remove the saturation to make the texture black and white. Just set all points of the saturation ramp to zero. Now link the remap HSV color output to the V-Ray material's reflection color. Adjust the texture's brightness and contrast using the value ramp. We get a good result by setting the zero point to a position of 0.15 and the one point to 0.7. We also want to blur the reflection slightly. To do that, open the reflection rollout of the V-Ray material and bring the reflection glossiness down to 0.9. Let's see the result. It looks good, but we can still improve it with one final adjustment. We can link the remap HSV to the bump map slot of the floor material to add some bump effect. Let's drop the bump multiplier down to 0.1, as the default value makes the effect too strong. Now we can render the final image in the VFB. Thank you for watching how to make hardwood floor material with V-Ray for Maya.